Here are a couple of sample calculations for the force table. So first 350 grams at zero degrees means that there are 3.5 newtons. All I do here is um, I convert the 350 grams to kilograms which is 0.35 kilograms and then I multiply by 9.8 respectively I'm using a rounded 10 um, because it's just quicker here to do. So therefore 350 grams is 3.5 newtons, 300 grams of course therefore is 3.0 newtons and 150 grams is 1.5 newtons and then using the angles and the force I'm going to determine what the net force is. For that I'm going to this applet at the University of Calgary. You can Google it numerical vector edition Calgary is going to get you there respectively the link is posted in um, the quiz. Okay, I'm gonna see how much actually maybe I can give it a little bit more space there we go we'll see how this works okay so here I'm gonna plug in the numbers I'm gonna read this off here on the side so the first one is 3.5 newtons at an angle of zero degrees. The second vector is 3.0 newtons at an angle of 155 degrees. But you notice that when I do that um, the vectors are showing up so small that I really can't see anything. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I put them back into hundreds. So I'm gonna have actually 350 newtons and 300 newtons but I have to remember later that I'm gonna have to divide these numbers by 100 especially when it comes to determining net force so remember this is actually 3.5 newtons this is 3.0 newtons okay the third vector I'm gonna hit add vector is 1.5 newtons or 150 at an angle of 240 degrees and we can see that adding these vectors tip to tail that's what it's doing here automatically gets us back to the origin where we started and that means that the um, net force comes out to zero and that of course means that the assembly is um, balanced but let me show you the result and it's not quite zero it's 4.4 respectively remember these numbers here were multiplied by 100 so I have to divide this by 100 so this number here is actually 0 0.044 that's the net force that's what I'm gonna plug in here so the net force is gonna come out to 0 0.044 newtons and then I believe on the um, where you fill in the numbers on for these 10 laps you're supposed to write only one significant figure 0.04 newtons so um, why is it not exactly zero well because it's a measurement and because you can see that these numbers here are definitely rounded so I can't expect to come up with exactly zero but 0.04 newtons is sm so small compared to the original forces 3.5, 3.0, 1.5 that it can be um, considered really to be zero and we saw that in the applet that it really does come out to zero but you'd still write 0 0.04 newtons. Um, notice here's an angle given but our result is so close to zero that an angle really doesn't make any sense and that's why I'm not asking for one. So the result here is 0 0.04 newtons. The second one, you have to do that yourself. Um, <clears throat> because it's balanced, we would basically come up with the same thing or something really, really similar. So I'm going to do the third one here as an example. So here I'm going to have 2.0 newtons, 2.5, and 2.5 newtons at these given angles of 350 degrees, 87 degrees, 240 degrees and again that's what I'm going to use for the applet. I'm going to put this to the side so I can plug in the numbers here. So the first one is 2.0 respectively 200 at an angle of 350 degrees. The next one is 
2.5 respectively, me multiplying with 2R with, with 100 to make them actually visible is 250, an angle of 87 degrees, and then the third one is 2.5 or 250 at an angle of 240 degrees. And I'm just going to double check my numbers. I believe what I got is correct. And you can see that adding these three vectors numerically, or in this case, um, you know, tip to tail comes up with a large gap. Well, that large gap here is the net force. So when I show the resultant, there's the net force. 85 respectively divided by 100 is going to be 0.85 um, newtons at an angle of 359 degrees. In this case, we write we'll take the um, angle along. <coughs> excuse me, because we have an appreciable net force and here for an appreciable net force it's important to note what the angle is. So 0.85 newtons at an angle of 359 degrees. So those are numbers I'm gonna plug in. Whoops, that was, that was actually the um, quiz itself or the 10 laps itself. This is what I meant to use. So here I have 0.85 newtons. Respectively, I said something about one significant figure, so I'm going to use 0.9 newtons. Besides, when I actually did the experiment, I wasn't able to measure any more accurately than that anyway. And the angle comes out to, uh, I said, 359 degrees. Okay, um, that's it for showing a couple of examples. Uh, when you go back to the video, you'll find that I measured a counter force and it probably was in the neighborhood of that 0 0.9. I, I forgot what I measured, 0 0.8 maybe. Um, and notice that the angle that I measured wasn't 359 degrees, but was in the neighborhood of like 180 degrees because it's the counter force that I used on, on that force table, which of course has to pull in the opposite direction. Okay, anyway, so these were the two calculations.